Hello guys and welcome back to Halloween, where Halloween is everywhere. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing, <clears throat> I can't remember, fourth, fourth episode of Haunt Build. Now this year, if you couldn't tell, I actually do smaller steps. So usually what I would do is I'd make like a big time up. So let me give, give an example of last year. Um, the, uh, that video there, the I don't know which one it was. I think it was number two where I did the lighting stage around the house. On top of that, I also did the tombstones but this year what I've been doing a lot differently is um, doing smaller clips so people have an idea of what exact step-by-step -step process it takes for me to build my haunts on Halloween night so what I'm going to be doing today is the tombstones and only the tombstones so obviously this is gonna be a shorter video it's just a process that I want to show now usually I don't do just a tombstone video but this year I just want to do it it may be shorter but I, like I said, I just want to do a step-by-step -step exact process of how my haunt build starts and finishes. So without any further ado, let's move on to the time-lapse of me putting up the tombstones. officially back here is the graveyard so it's obviously not finished uh, I'll explain a few things and then we'll wrap up the video so <clears throat> first and foremost <clears throat> after opening the box of tombstones I realized that this one was snapped in half so what I did was I just stuck it on a pole and made it look like it is really worn down on top of that I have the other half here so I wanted to make sure that, that it looked proper still. So I, I just have I just have both halves. Just both halves. And then I have a few other tombstones on the lawn. This is a new one for this year that I got. Well, Taya got it for me actually. And then uh so that was a cool little gift. But the reason that you see empty spots, let me quickly explain. There's obviously going to be animatronics on the lawn. There always is. There's going to be one thing in the tree here that swings. There is also going to be jumping skull right in the middle there. There's going to be a thrashing zombie against one of these tombstones. I haven't decided which one. Smoldering zombie in the back as always. And there's going to be a bog zombie probably right here. So the lawn is going to be very filled up. Possibly even including Grim on the lawn. So there is obviously going to be stuff on the lawn that fills it up. So there is going to be animatronics on this lawn that fill up the spot. I haven't decided where they go, but my plan, like I said, I want Bog Zombie in here. I want Grim in here. There's a chance I might not even use Smoldering Zombie if Bog Zombie fills up the spot properly and then Jumping Skull in the middle there to help fill that tombstone hole. The lawn will be filled nonetheless. That's what I'm trying to get at. So it will look good. It will look proper but it always looks a little funky on the tombstone stage. But there it is, which I do actually really like it. I do like it. it. It always looks the same every year, but I always get excited because the lawn is such a big thing in the house, but I won't be doing it this year because I'm not very good at it. Instead, Taya will be mainly doing this lawn. So you'll see a lot of videos of Taya doing this. This will mainly be Taya's job as I'm doing the garage. So. I think that wraps up this video. It was a really short one, but it is still a haunt build. I just wanted to get out there. So if you guys enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. It's completely your choice. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.